Take you behind the scenes of the making of a Louisville Slugger bat. As you see, this is the old fashioned way that they used to make bats back in the day. And kind of give us a little bit of what you're doing there. Sure. This is how we did it, make, it back, make bats back in the old days. It's called hand turning. It takes about a half hour to do this process. We line up the model bat in front of us over here. I got a shoeless Joe Jackson model. And we load a chunk of wood in there called a billet. And again, it takes about a half an hour. Most of it's going to be done by eye. As we start getting closer, we use some calipers to measure our, our uh, work against the model. We've got to be real careful not to go too far, though, because if we go too far, we've got a piece of scrap wood, we've got to start all over again. But even up until the early 1980s, we were still hand-turning bats for pro ball players. Mm -hmm. All of our bats were made by hand up until the early 80s for the mm -hmm. pros. Now we've got machines that are much more accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, they're accurate to within one one-hundredth of an inch. So virtually every bat that comes off the, the machines now are identical to the model that the ball player chooses from. Mm -hmm. So how long does it take to make it the, the new way? The new way it takes about, on our CNC machines, it takes about 45 seconds to a minute. 45 seconds to a minute. And it takes me about a half hour here. <laughs> well, let's calculate the hourly wage on that. <laughs> so this is Shoeless Joe. That's Shoeless Joe. Okay, can, I, can I handle this back? Sure can. Man, this was, give me, give me a little hand there, my protege. Man, this kind of... Big handle here. Yeah, they got thick handles back then. They was able to hit with these? Yep. Man, this car. over 400 with that bat. These some big bats here. But what would we not do with the modern day hitters? <laughs> so who came up with the concept of, of filing them down, making them lighter it and just, faster? It just evolved over time. Mm -hmm. It evolved. Uh, you know, back in those days, it was all about thick handles, thick barrels. And they weren't so much hitting home runs. They were uh, more singles hitters like before Babe Ruth. You know? mm -hmm. Nowadays, ball players they they're, they want to hit more home runs. They want uh, they want bat speed, and they know the lighter the bat, the quicker your bat speed. So if you if you sit, if you run a real if you have a real skinny handle on that bat, you can eliminate a lot of the weight. Mm -hmm. So you got guys like Konerko and Dunn and Brzezinski and all those guys. They you'll see their bats have really skinny handles on them, as compared to guys like Eddie Collins and Shoeless Joe Jackson way back when with those real thick handles. Hey Ruth, I think this yeah. is about two times longer. <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, it was bigger. So you the man to make these bats? Yeah, well, I just do it for demonstration purposes. But you come down and visit us in Louisville, and we'll take we, we take guided tours of the factory and show you all how it's been made, and we make. And pro bats all year long. We're open seven days a week down there. Is that a standing invitation? That's it. It's a standing invitation. Okay. So uh, we, we take our youngsters behind the scenes. Uh -huh. How do you cork one of these bats? <laughs> <laughs> well, when all the, when the bats leave our factory, they're always they're always legit. We uh, we make sure we're, we're we're licensed by Major League Baseball. We got to make sure the bats are, yeah, are uh, legit. Right we got to make sure they're all right. <laughs> but once they get to the uh, clubhouse, you know, uh, you might have we, some we sketchy cousin or something. You know. <laughs> okay. Coaches, take you youngsters behind the scenes of how Louisville make these bats. Yeah, we gonna take you youngsters on the road. With, give me my mic back. See, there you go. He always want to be on the camera. There, he gonna take you youngsters on the road and let you see the actual Louisville factory how they make these bats in one minute. And they gonna make a line of the coach bats. We need some coach. There you go. We'll make some coach bats. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. Thank you. So it all starts off right here. It's yep. kind of heavy here. Billets. They come from what we have our own mills that are delivered to us 37 inches long, uh -huh. just under 3 inches in diameter. That's what we're used to shape into a baseball bat. So that's northern white ash. Well, how many trees go into one bed? Uh, well, it's, it's all one chunk, one chunk of wood. One chunk of wood. Out of a tree, we can get between 60 and 80 billets, these pieces of wood. Out of oh, okay, tree. okay. We're going to follow it from the time it, the tree come in to right. the time it become a bat. In the there you go. And these are some of the players who you make bats for now? Yep, we got some old ones there, some new ones. You can hold those to the Shoeless, Carlton Fist, Robin Venture, Louis Aparicio, and Adam Don. You got some heavyweights in there. This is the Louisville trademark. This is Chicago White Sox. Alex, Alex, Adam Don. Right. So we're going to line up our tour of Louisville.